We'd like to take the opportunity to show you that it's possible to use a smoke evacuation device and actually realize its real value, which is a, as an aerosol capture device. Today, we're going to show how the mini square, which is currently used in the operating room, can be used outside the operating room as well for protection of the healthcare worker. With this simulation, what we're going to do is show you how to use the mini square for intubation if you're an anesthesiologist or CRNA or placement of a flexible or rigid bronchoscope if you're a pulmonologist. What you don't want is you don't want to be inhaling any of the ex exhaled uh, breath of the patient until you have control of it. And if you don't have complete control, as you wouldn't with bronchoscopy, you would want to keep the mini square on full time. This mini square is originally meant for and currently being used for long incisions like, as, such as in spine or mid-sternotomy incisions. We're going to instead use it close to the nose and mouth area. And the way to do this would be by removing the release paper with a very sticky edge which you can then put directly on the patient's skin. I want you to understand that all these materials have been checked for skin sensitivity, hypersensitivity, and so forth, so you don't have to worry that it will irritate the skin in any way for any long period of time, so that you can keep this, once in place, you can keep it on the side of the patient during the entire procedure. And then when you're done, you can extubate, keeping this on in place, and the thing to remember is that the, at the other end of the tubing is the attachment to the smoke evacuator. So a bedside smoke evacuator is, is what you use for the suction to draw the aerosol into the capture area. Keep the smoke evacuator on until the procedure is completed. Now let's say that you think this is too big. By the magic of movies and a straight scissor, we have just taken off a good portion. We have taken off a good portion of the mini square, the original shape, made it much smaller, and therefore can fit the face of a smaller patient a lot easier. But the process is the same. Removal of the release paper, place it on the skin or close to the mouth and the nose, leave it on. Place it on suction before you go ahead and, and intubate or put in a bronchoscope. Leave it on the suction until you're done with the procedure and then it will peel right off.